name is uh, Dr. Anita Shevchik. Uh, I'm a medical oncologist and I work at Ironwood Cancer Research Centers. Breast cancer is uh, the most common um, cancer in women. There is around 1 million cases diagnosed of breast cancer um, per year. Um, the, it's the second leading cause of death from cancer in women. Um, and why is it so common? Well, um, there are many factors because we have actually four different types of breast cancer, but the most common factors is um, fatty intake in women, uh, hormonal imbalances. Um, also, some causes are like um, women right now have uh, delayed pregnancies. Um, women that uh, have never been pregnant, that's a risk for breast cancer. Um, and also there are some uh, causes that we don't really know, environmental and genetic causes. Actually, the most common signs of breast cancer, there's no signs. But the things we need to look at um, is the lump. Lump is the number one thing. Uh, many women think it's painful. It's actually uh, not painful. Um, most of the breast cancers do not provide any pain. Uh, but nipple discharge, uh, nipple inversion and skin changes, and the lump, uh, those are the most common signs of breast cancer. That's a really common question that we get. Um, so the answer is no, but it depends. It depends on the size of the cancer, it depends on location of the cancer, depends on how old the patient is, uh, depends on genetics. So there's many things, but women ask that question a lot. Um, so the answer, most of um, surgeries right now, women do not require mastectomies, which just means losing the breast, but that depends on a lot of factors. Also common question that I get, uh, but knowing different types of breast cancer, many times it's um, the genetics. So 15 to 20 percent of women that come to us have a genetic predisposition, so they didn't do anything. Um, and also by looking at risk factors. So if somebody's healthy, uh, does not um, have a lot of fatty intake um, in their diet, they, they don't do anything to increase the risk of breast cancer. So the answer is no, but there's a lot of things we can do to decrease the risk of development of breast cancer. So that increased the risk, breast cancer risk, um, fatty intake, um, so women that are more obese, um, there are increased risk for breast cancer. Uh, some data show that maybe uh, significant alcohol ingestion or smoking can increase risk of breast cancer. Uh, low activity level, low exercise level can increase. And really, um, women that have never had, uh, never been pregnant, never had uh, uh, pregnancies, uh, they're at increased risk for breast cancer. So, uh, you know, having um, children earlier or many children, that decreases the risk of breast cancer. Yeah, so the family history of breast cancer increases the risk of breast cancer. So it also depends how strong the family history is. If this is like a distant cousin, that's not really a family history, but if it's a mother or grandmother, so we evaluate this really carefully in our clinic and there are specific guidelines who requires genetic testing for BRCA1, BRCA2. Um, that's the main uh, gene that's tested and overall um, out of 100 women that walk in into the clinic, 20% of them have genetic predisposition. Um, this is a good question and there's no uh, clear data on this. Uh, the data came out, uh, or a question came out, with the bras that have the wire um, support uh, bras um, that they might cause a breast cancer risk and then American Cancer Society clearly said that they do not based on reviewing research data. Um, the idea was that um, the bra with the metallic thing decreases the lymphatic circulation in the chest and that increases the build of toxins. Um, and then that may increase risk of breast cancer. That data has not been uh, validated. 
usually the women that wear a bra with the metallic uh, support bra, uh, those are usually uh, uh, women that have bigger breasts. Uh, well, women that have bigger breasts, more fat in the breast, that in itself is a risk factor for breast cancer. So you cannot really um, say, so my answer is no, there's no validated data that bras or wearing a bra, especially with metallic support, increases the risk of breast cancer. There are two parts of my answer. So first one is no, not breast cancer risk. So. Uh, the implants, the saline or the silicon implants, um, just recently, this year in February, FDA um, did a warning that um, the implants can increase risk of um, implants related anaplastic lymphoma. So this is a difference, not a breast cancer, it's a type of lymphoma, it's extremely rare. So a breast augmentation, uh, placement of implants is really common in the United States. I think it's like 300,000 per year. Um, and over 10 years, there was 350 cases of this anaplastic lymphoma reported. So if you can calculate, you know, 300,000 per year of implants placed in, but over 10 years span, we only had 350 cases reported. But that is, but that's not a breast cancer. What implants can do is they can hide. They can hide the actual cancer when you do imaging. They can hide calcifications, things like that, but alone they do not cause breast cancer that we know of. It's a low risk. Um, if you have no family history and you're healthy, you minimize uh, your fat intake, you exercise, your risk is low. But after age of 50, every woman carries a 0.5% per year. I mean, that's the risk because there are different causes of breast cancer, uh, meaning we have Four different types, um, hormonal imbalances, um, and there's also a type of HER2 new breast cancer. We do not know what actually causes that cancer. Is it toxin? Is it environmental? So uh, the risk is low, but it's not zero. So BRCA gene, it's a breast cancer ovarian gene one and two, and um, not every woman with breast cancer diagnosis should get tested. Uh, and why is that? Because if 100 women diagnosed with breast cancer, only 20% of them will have the gene. So there are other causes for breast cancer, uh, like hormonal um, uh, dysregulation or other causes. Uh, since I, I have not discussed here, but there are four different types of breast cancer. For example, there's a triple negative breast cancer. That is most common in the BRCA mutation carriers, and hormonally driven breast cancer is usually not. So we look at everything, and we look at um, statistics based on our guidelines. So strong family history, age, those are the two factors that dictate if we should get BRCA1 and BRCA2 tested. Every woman that's diagnosed with breast cancer um, is scared. Um, why did it happen to her? Um, she most likely has many uh, friends or some family members that have went through this because it's a common cancer. Um, when you're diagnosed with breast cancer, there's many questions and every woman is treated different actually because it depends on her age, depends on her family history, depends on her sizes of the breasts, depends on what type of breast cancer she has, depends what, um, what she would like, um, when she has her surgery and depends on her state. So there are many factors. And when that happens is a woman doesn't just see one doctor. She has to see a medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, plastic surgeon. She also has to see um, a um, regular surgeon, breast surgeon. So we call it, she needs a multi-speciality treatment. We at Ironwood provide that under one uh, facility, um, a patient can see a medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, we have a breast center, all her tests and scan can be done at the center. Uh, then if she would have to require treatment uh, with chemotherapy or radiation, surgery, we schedule that together. And based on guidelines, if the doctors communicate and provide a multidisciplinary approach, patients do well and they have a care and they feel like family, um, and we also provide nutrition support, um, social 
support and that's why I think our center is one of the best.